Hi, this is Amy Story with Bright Agrotech, and I'm here with Brooke Wooler. And we are going to be talking to you guys about microgreens today. Now, microgreens are essentially baby plants. We grow them like seedlings, um, but we grow them at a much higher seed density and on open face media usually. And then we sell them when they're still young, before they really even got their true leaves, as you can see with these guys here. So microgreens are a fantastic uh, entry point for farmers who are looking to start a farm because they're low cost and you can start generating uh, money from these pretty quickly. They're also a great way to create an alternative revenue stream in your existing farm. The problem is, since they're still relatively new, a lot of the information about how to grow them, uh, practical tips on what materials to use and the right seed density and lighting needs and all kinds of that, all that kind of stuff is hidden in scientific papers or anecdotal forums and it can be kind of hard to dig up. So what we're seeking to do is create a, a con conglomerate um, group of data for you guys to look at and make quick decisions about how to grow microgreens best in your farms. So Brooke is heading up some microgreens trials here in the zip farm which is right behind us and she has a whole round of them uh, going right now. Um, we're going to continue to do trials after that. So Brooke, what are you testing with these trials right now? So right now we're really focusing on the seed density and the time length for the growth. And so we are testing densities such as 0.5 ounces up to one ounce and then one ounce up to four ounces, depending on the size of the seed. And we're also testing uh, date ranges from seven days all the way up to 12 days and then also 10 days up to 25 days. Awesome. So by the end of these trials, farmers should be able to look at the data we're, we're creating and say, all right, I'm growing radishes or red rain, so I know that I need to plant at this density for the highest um, yield, basically, per mm -hmm. input. Yes, exactly. Right? And then also, you can also, they'll also be able to see uh, how long they need to grow the crops for and space their timing ac accordingly. And so what crops are you testing now? So right now I'm testing Red Rain Asian Microgreens. This is an F1 hybrid. I'm also testing Daikon Radish and Red Russian Kale. And do you have any other crops in the works for future trials? Yes, actually. So I'm going to be testing 15 different varieties. So there are a lot of tests to be done. Uh, the next uh, order of tests that I'm be I'll be doing are the Black Oil Sunflower Seeds, um, the Watercress, and the red cabbage here? Uh, yeah, the cabbage. Awesome. Also. So that's that stuff. Though. Awesome. Yeah. And there is a lot of data that we could collect. So we're going to keep doing trials after this to get more of that data. Um, everything from lighting and input costs, like um, electricity, to whether or not nutrient levels will impact the growth at different stages, um, and on. So as you can see, we have some great trials coming up. Um, Brooke, will you tell us a little bit more about how the study is set up, what materials we're using, the timelines you're running these on? Yeah, certainly. So first off, uh, all the trays that I'm using are standard 10 by 20 mesh trays. You can kind of see them here, maybe. And um, we're also using hemp media. That So far, that's proven to be the most effective media for growing the microgreens. And uh, as far as growing these go, we stick them in the propagator and then after about four days, they go into the seedling cart and that's where they get some nutrients from the seedling cart water. We have the water cycle running at uh, once per day and it basically runs, soaks the media and then is done for the day. And then the lighting is set for 18 hour cycles but you could also have it run for a full day. But since we have other seedlings uh, growing in there besides the microgreens, we have to set it for the 18 hour days. So as you can see, we have some great trials coming up here and we're gonna be testing out a lot of different factors. If you have a specific factor or tool that you would like tested, or even a part of the process that you think we could be doing more efficiently, please let us know in the comments. Just yesterday, actually, we had a friend in here who is using an electric red knife like we have said in previous videos that he watched, and he recommended a new seeding method for us that we're gonna be trying out. So your comments matter. Go ahead and leave questions, concerns, or ideas in the comments below, and we will be reading them.